<clears throat> shalom, shalom, shalom. Back from the live lesson. And first and foremost, as always, before I get started, I want to turn to the east. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. And double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether people are here or forbear. I just want to bring out a lesson on this beautiful day. Here by the seaside, get ready to preach this blessed word. And uh, today I'm just going to kind of flow in the spirit. It led me to Isaiah, the 42nd chapter, so I'm going to start there and see wherever it takes me. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Okay. All right. And, uh, you know, that's speaking of the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. We're going to be given spiritual powers to bring forth judgment unto the Gentiles. All right. We're going to put them into captivity. All right. And also, as we're doing that, the spirit of the Lord is upon us to preach his blessed word to our people. Preach these words of prophecy. All right. And the Lord is getting ready to free us from this prison house. All right. Free us from our slave master. It says, verse 2. He shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and a smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment into truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. All right, and uh, all the different nations of the earth are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the heavenly father, the sons of the power of, of uh, the Yasharala, all right, the princes of power, okay? All, all the earth, the trees, everything, man, is waiting for the children of Israel to come back into power, the righteous, all right? And, and you read Isaiah, the 14th chapter, it says, yea, even the fir trees rejoice, all right? For since thou have been taken down, no fellow have risen up against us, all right? Because, you know, even though as beautiful as it is out here, all right? beautiful it is, as it is out here is nothing compared to the way that the heavenly father intended for things to be all right when the heavenly father comes and he uh he restores this earth all right he makes it new the greek word for new is uh, krinos i believe all right when he makes everything new again he's going to refresh the earth it's going to be it's going to be uh just utterly breathtaking and much more beautiful than we, we can even imagine of course even though like i said you know it's beautiful now you know, even with all the polluting, uh, pollution and all that stuff that this devil has put in the, in the, in the ocean, all right, and on, all over the earth, you know, trash, you got, uh, what's that called? Uh, you know, the exhaust destroying the ozone layer and all these different things, all right? You know, but uh, it's going to be even more beautiful than what it is now, all right? Because the Lord is going to restore this place. Let's go back to that. It's so lucky the wind, wind blew my pages. Uh, Isaiah, the 42nd chapter. Go back to where I was at. All right, Isaiah the forty-second chapter and verse uh, five. Now, thus saith Yahweh, the Lord, He He that created the heavens and stretched them out. Thus saith, so like it, thus saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the Lord, He He that created the heavens and stretched them out. He that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it. He that giveth breath unto the people upon it and spirit to them that walk therein all right so everything everything that we see was created by the lord all right by the heavenly father his only begotten son yahweh bahashim yahweh shai and, and and the breath that we breathe everything comes from the heavenly father all right these are his words that he's speaking it says i the lord have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the gentiles all right and now uh, you know that's the elect all right, we are we are that light preaching this blessed word unto the Israelites that are scattered that are in the Gentile state of mind. All right, you know, we're preaching that word, telling them to repent, turn back to the people. And then through us, even though two thirds are going to die on this side, all right, they're going to be uh, reincarnated through the loins of the elect. All right. And when they're reincarnated, they're going to be reincarnated into a righteous earth, a righteous, a righteous kingdom. All right. A new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, as the Lord has promised. All right. It says, um. Verse 7, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. All right, and this is, this is the prison house, okay? America, Babylon the Great, the land of the north, 
okay? Spiritual Egypt. This is the place where our ancestors came to serve out their captivity and we, where we still are here today, all right? Because we are our ancestors. All right, we are our ancestors reincarnated. This is the prison house and we're proclaiming liberty to the captives, all right? The opening of the prison house, all right? It's, uh, you know, our oppressor, Esau Edom, okay? The so-called white man being taken down, all right? And then, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai uh, giving us glory and honor and a kingdom, all right? This is what we're proclaiming to the people. The people that were in darkness, we're bringing them to the light, all right? Return, uh, turn our people to repent, turn back to the law, stretch the commandments of the Heavenly Father, all right? His only begotten Son, all right? We're uh, giving our people the true names, okay? The Heavenly Father's name in the Paleo-Hebrew tongue is Yahweh, who we were eternally called God, all right? And Yahweh Shai, who we were eternally called Jesus Christ, all right? So we're, we're bringing the light back to the people, okay? Verse 8, it says, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. All right, and that's a, that's a very, um, what's what I'm looking for? That's very uh, powerful right there, all right? You know, because a lot of our people are given to idolatry, all right, which is the reason why we got cast out in the first place. And even though, you know, well, we got exiled in the first place, all right, and came into this punishment, even though we can show them in the Bible that all these things will come to pass against us in the latter days, all right, you know, people are still not going to repent. Because once again, it's, it's what's written. Two-thirds of our people are going to remain rebellious. They're going to remain stiff-necked, all right, and they're going to be destroyed. But, you know, the Lord is so merciful that even though they're going to be destroyed on this side, they're going to return, you know, through the loins of the elect into a righteous kingdom, all right, new heaven and a new earth, okay, where the Israelites are ruling, all right, where, where Esau, Edom has been taken out of power, and righteousness has sprung forth on the earth all right so let's keep reading it says uh, verse 9 behold the former things are come to pass are yes before the former things are come to pass and new things do i declare before they spring forth i tell you of them all right the former things and the former things of, of what was written in the prophecies about us going into captivity okay esau edom the wicked rule on the earth all right job 9 and 24 the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked uh daniel the fourth chapter all right, uh, this is the decree of the watchers that, that uh, the kingdom of men is in the Lord's hands and he give it to whomsoever he will it and he give it to the basest of men. All, right, all these things were prophesied of and we're living in them right now, okay? All these things, all the former things that the, that the prophets prophesied of have come to pass. All right, and we're, in, we're living in, in that right now. It says that new things do I declare. And what is that new thing? All right, that new thing is gonna be the Israelites ruling, okay, righteousness on the earth. All right, because the earth has been in wickedness pretty much from the beginning all right i mean you had you had um you know you had the first uh son of god adam okay which which uh what which was yahweh shy all right and he fell following behind eve and pretty much since then man it was just it's just been wickedness and the lord had to destroy the earth with the flood all right and then of course now we're back to that same level of wickedness today all right that's why it says in our uh, second Ezra, the 15th chapter it says uh uh, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled but all this was a part of the, the plans of the heavenly father yahweh all right it's all in the prophecy that they'll go down this way okay and now he's declaring a new thing on the earth all right a new thing once again a new heaven and new earth is coming where in joyless righteousness okay where, where the chosen people of the lord okay the israelites so-called negroes latinos and native american indians are in rulership all right under yahweh shai the 144,000, and the men on down all right, it says, and before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And how is he telling the people of the new things to come? All right, through his prophets. Okay, the men that you see out here on the highways and byways, I prophesy in the word week in, week out. Okay, reproof and rebuke and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, those men that, that you that you love to hate. All right, as it says in Amos 5 and 10, they hate him who rebuketh at the gate. All right, because that's, that's our job. Our job is to rebuke. All right, our job is to lead you. Uh, into, into the light and out of darkness, okay? We're turning back to the law, says the commandments, all right? Turning away from wickedness, giving you the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, all right? So we're, you know, He set us up to tell you of all these things that He's bringing, the new things that He's bringing on the face of the earth. Verse 10, sing unto the Lord a new song, all right? And His praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof, all right? And the isles represent the different nations. So we're singing a new song that the Lord put in our mouth, all right? We're declaring a new song to the people, okay? Because for so long, for so long, the truth did not bear fruit, as it says in, I believe, the second Ezra, the sixth chapter, all right? 
So now the Lord, he, he's put these words of prophecy in our mouth, all right? And now we're, we're, speak, we're bringing them out to the people, okay? A new song that only the 144,000 can learn. Lord's will we be at that number. All right, let's keep rolling. It says, uh, verse 11, Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kadar doeth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top, top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in, in the lands. All right? And that's what's, that's what's going to happen. The, the name, and the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, every knee is going to bow. All right? The Lord is going to receive glory on earth as he already as he already has it in heaven all right verse 13 the lord shall go forth as a mighty man he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war he shall cry yea roar he shall prevail against his enemies okay all right and this is now going into before you know before all these wonderful things can come the new can come all right the new heaven and the new earth where it draws righteousness the lord has to come and destroy this old system. All right, he has to take down the wicked, okay? Who is in rulership right now? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He says, verse 14, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now I will cry like a prevailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. All right, so he's coming. He's coming in the state of war. All right, you know, he says, I will not meet you as a man. All right, so he's coming as an angelic force. All right, with, with the thousands of chariots, okay, which are the vehicles and the angels. It's going to be an all-out, you know, invasion. And he's coming to bring great destruction because that, that, this system has to go out with great violence. All right, it says that. Let's get that in. Um, first, we'll get that part where it says, I will hold my tongue no more. Let's get that in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. Because the same thing there. All right, 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, and verse, uh, let's see. All right, 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent blood, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right, and that's the reason why the Lord is getting ready to come. He said, I will hold my tongue no more. You know, for a time, he was bound by his word. All right, you know, he, he, he already had it set. So he had, you know, the Lord cannot lie. So he said that the wicked would be ruling, that there'd be four beasts on the earth, okay, which represents four kingdoms all right that will rule the earth four heathen kingdoms and until until that was fulfilled the lord you know he couldn't he couldn't come in but now the, you know we're in the fourth kingdom now all right the gospel's been preached okay and you know the, the the children of israel the elect has been woken up for the most part of course you know i'm sure there's still people being woken up every day all right but a lot of these prophecies have been fulfilled all right now we're just waiting on the lord to start bringing in that destruction all right Go back to Isaiah, the 42nd chapter. All right, Isaiah 42. And um, let's see, verse uh, <clears throat> verse 15. It says, I will make waste mountains and hills. All right, what do those mountains and hills represent? It represents big governments and small governments. Okay, all, all the different uh, heathen governments and nations of the earth. He said, I will make waste of them. And dry up all their herbs and i will make the rivers islands and will dry up the pools i will and i will bring the blind by a way that they do not all right so he's gonna he's gonna bring destruction upon these different heathen nations what he's saying but then to the to the uh israelites and i will bring the blind by a way that they knew not i will lead them in paths that they have not known i will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight these things will i do unto them and not forsake them all right, who is that talking about? That's talking about the elect, okay? He's gonna guide the elect. So he's gonna make up his jewels and deliver them from troubles as he, as a father would his own son, all right? So that's what he's talking about there. He's talking about he's gonna guide and deliver the elect, okay? Verse 17, they shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images that say to the molten images, ye are our gods. All right, so, you know, shame is gonna cover them. 
All right, those who, who worship in idols and all that. Dang, phone on 10%. Okay, so I'm gonna, I am gotta, I gotta close out, I'm gonna make, I close out with this. Finish up this chapter, close out. Unfortunately, I, I've been out all day. I hate to cut it short, but it is what it is. Let's keep reading. It says, uh, verse 18, hear ye deaf and look ye blind that ye may see. All right, who is that? That's speaking of the Israelites, okay? Because, you know, we, we were made deaf and we were made blind spiritually, all right? And of course, it was the will of the Lord, but, you know, our heritage was taken from us. Okay, Jeremiah 17 and 4 says, Thou should discontinue from thine heritage. All right, we lost connection to our power, all right? And uh, you go to Isaiah 59, verse 1 through 3, it says, uh, You think that the, that the Lord's ears are, are waxed heavy that they cannot hear, or his arm is short that he cannot save, but, his, but your iniquities have separated you from your power all right so you know we we lost connection to our to our power man all right and that made us blind and deaf out here in this in this world man all right Let's keep rolling it says verse uh 19 it tells you right here who is blind but my servant or deaf as my messenger that i sent okay once again we lost our heritage the israelites we were you know we we're blind and deaf man all right you know we were uh worshiping idols still worshiping uh you know, JC, Allah, Buddha, the Hindu goddess Shiva, Santa Maria, all right? All these different false idols, and, and then most of our people are still into that kind of stuff, man, all right? But the elect has been woken up, all right? Because this truth is really is really for the elect, all right? It says, um, verse 20, seeing many things, but thou observest not, opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. All right, and that's that's what's that's what's uh, getting ready to happen, man. All right, you know, right now, people are looked at as, um, you know, the Israel, the, the elect of the nation of Israel is looked at as, you know, uh, bums and all these different, you know, derogatory things because, you know, it says in the scriptures that you'd be hated of all pe of all people for my name's sake, of all men for my name's sake. So we expect that, man. All right, we expect to be hated. That's just part of the game. All right, but the Lord is going to magnify His law and make it honorable because. It's gonna become very apparent who the Lord is dealing with. When these evils come, okay, when Jacob's trouble comes, all right, it's gonna be very apparent because the only ones that are really gonna be escaping the evils are the elect. Everyone else is gonna be, you know, they're gonna be in bad case, man. Let's get us to Rock 16 and 11, all right? And it says, oh, that's not the one I was thinking of. Ah. The one I'm thinking of is, um. 11, 9. What I'm thinking of is, uh, oh, you know, I know where it is. So, like 23 and 27, I believe. It's good. It, goes, it goes something like, um, and they that remain shall know that there's nothing sweeter than to keep his commandments. Something like that. Yep, here it is. So, Rock 23 and 27. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord. That there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandment of the Lord. All right, and people, the whole world's gonna see that, man. They're gonna see, they're gonna see how the elect was guided by the heavenly Father. All right, when we are, when we are um, beamed up into the chariots. All right, we receive those perfect new bodies. All right, we come back down as the gods of the earth. All right, you know they're gonna, they're gonna look at us and see our splendor, our honor, our glory, and they're gonna, they're gonna want a part of that, man. All right, so you know righteousness is gonna be in style once again. All right, and we're looking forward to that. But right now we have to suffer humility just like uh you know Yahweh Shai did, man. Uh, he says that he made himself of no reputation. Okay, he came down as a servant, all right? Literally the son of the, you know, the son of the most high. You know, made himself of no reputation, like a regular man. Alright, we have to we have to follow that same example. Alright. Let's keep rolling though. Uh Slacky, bear with me. Isaiah the 42nd chapter. Let's just go back to where I was at. Wind blowing my pages around. Locking it there with me. All right, Isaiah the forty-second chapter. Now in verse, um, I'm gonna read that again. It says, hmm, "The Lord, verse twenty-one. The Lord is well pleased for His righteousness' sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver it. For a spoil and none saith restore. And that's our that's our current state. Okay, that's our current state right now as people." All right, you know, the Lord is going to, he's going to return that honor, that glory to the elect of the nation of Israel. 
all right, and eventually they'll always realize, but you know, right now we are people that's robbed and spoiled. We've been, everything has been taken from us completely, all right? And which it says that all of them are snared in holes, the traps of this society, all right, uh, the gangster culture, uh, you know, quote unquote, black culture, feminism. All right, these are all traps that were designed to destroy us as a people, mentally. All right, and they are hidden prison houses. Look at America. America has the largest, this is the land of our captivity. It has the largest um, prison population. And primarily, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians make up the vast majority of that prison population. All right? And when, when we do, a, when we commit a crime, we get sentenced double as hard as an Edomite would. Okay, that's because this is, this is, we're under the curses, man. This is our hell. It says, they are for a prey and none deliver it, for a spoil and none save the store. So, no other nation saw what Esau was doing to us and said, you know, oh, so we're going to go and help these people. No one did that, man. I, we, you know, and that's how we know who we are. All right. He, the Lord said he would leave these signs for a curse, uh, these curses for a sign and for a wonder. I right, said so that we would know who we are. Okay. Because, you know, the Lord already knew, it was already in his plan that we would lose our heritage, but he had to give us a way, a light to be able to find, to find out who we are again. And we know who we are through these prophecies because no other nation fits them. All right. Verse 23 it says, who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for his spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord he against whom we have sinned? They said, the Lord said, I'm the ones who did it. Who's going to hear? Who's going to listen to me? Because, you know, that's the whole reason why we, we went in captivity anyways, because disobedience. I worship in idols, man. All right. So now he's getting ready to turn our captivity. But you got to get yourself right. You got to cleanse yourself from all your iniquity first. It says, did not the Lord he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, and it hath set him on fire round about, yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. All right, so the Lord brought utter destruction upon our people, but yet to this day they still have no clue why are we on the bottom? Why did the, why did the Heavenly Father let us go into slavery for all these years? See, we have the answers to that, and it's all right here in the Bible if you would just read. But our people are stiff-necked, they're hard-hearted, man. All right, and that's that's according to prophecy. Two thirds of our people are just not going to get it. The Lord has blinded them. All right, Romans eleven and seven. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which you seek it for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right. So um, yeah, man. So as always, man, just you know, preaching repentance, preparing yourself for the, for the uh, for the marriage to the Lamb, and Lord's will. This is edifying to the elect. I, I hate that I got to cut it short. Because I had way more scriptures that, I, that were popping up in my mind that I wanted to go into, but my phone was going to die, and I'll end up losing all the footage anyway. So, anyways, you know, Salakia, Lord willing, it was edifying. That being said, as always, all praise, honor, and glory unto, turn to the east. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, and double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing. Keep believing and keep the faith, regardless of whether people hear or forbear. Until next time, Shalom and a Bible ball. Shalom.